Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Dorn. In our today's video, we will talk about linear equations in one variable. So, throughout this video, we will try to define and give you examples of linear equation. And at the last part of our tutorial, I will teach you how to solve for the value of the variable in each given linear equation. So, without further ado, let's do this topic. So to define linear equation in one variable, it is a linear equation in one variable is an equation which can be written in the form ax plus b is equal to zero, where a and b are real numbers and take note of this, your a is not equal to zero. So basically for you to visualize more or to understand better about this given definition, I want you to examine these three examples of linear equation in one variable. Again, these three equations are examples of linear equation in one variable. The first one is we have x minus 6 is equal to 9. The variable here is the variable x. And for number 2, x minus 15 is equal to negative 20. And for number 3, we have x minus 3 over 4 is equal to 1. These three examples are all examples of linear equation in one variable. In the next part of our video, I will teach you how to use the different ways on how to solve linear equations in one variable. Now, for this part of our tutorial, we will do solving for the linear equation in one variable. So let's have this given direction. You have solve for x. So, what is the purpose of the variable x in this given equation? Or, bakit ba natin kailangan isolve yung variable x? Alam natin na uh, this variable represents a number. And if we substitute that value in this given equations, it will satisfy the given equations. So, let us find what is the value of x in item number 1. You have x plus 4 is equal to 6. Again, x plus 4 is equal to 6. So, we will try to solve for the value of x. So, what will be the process in solving this one? First, you need to isolate the variable x. And all you need to do is to eliminate 4. Again, eliminate 4 from the left side of the equation. So, the process will be like this. x plus 4. And to eliminate 4, to make it 0, all you need to do is subtract 4, both sides of the equation. So, this will become x plus 4 minus 4 is equal to 6 minus 4. Again, we have subtracted 4 from the left side and right side of the equation because we need to eliminate this constant 4. And simplifying this, this will give you x and 4 minus 4 is equal to 0. And then on the other side of the equation, it is equal to 2. Therefore, the value of x or the value of the variable that will satisfy this given equation is equal to 2. Now let's move on with item number 2. We have here 2x plus 3 is equal to 9. So basically for us to get the variable x here in this given equation, all we need to do is to eliminate 3 and 2. So first thing you need to eliminate here is you adding 3. So to eliminate 3, all you need to do is to subtract both sides of the equation. You have 2x plus 3 minus 3 is equal to 9 minus 3. So subtracting this one, this will give you 0. That is 0. Therefore, for the left side of the equation, the remaining term is simply 2x. And then on the right side, it is equal to 6. So we still have 2x is equal to 6. And all you need to do is to divide this by 2 and divide this by 2. And 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1. Or you can simply cancel out this one and you have x. And 6 divided by 2, this will give you equal to 3. This is the solution for item number 2. I hope that the first two examples natin, you already know how to simplify or to find the value of the variable in a given system of linear, in a given linear equation in one variable. Now for item number three, we have here a quite complicated example for you. 
you have 5y minus 4 is equal to 12 minus y. So what will happen here is again, you need to isolate or to find the variable y. So this time, our first step is to eliminate negative 4. And by addition property of equality, we will be adding 4 from the both sides of the equation. So you will have 5y minus 4 plus 4. Our target here is to eliminate negative 4. And then this one will be equal to 12 and then plus 4 because we added here 4. Therefore, we also need to add 4 on the other side of the equation and then minus y. So simplifying this, it will give you 5y and then this will become 0 is equal to 16 minus y. And next step we need to do is to eliminate negative y here on the right side of the equation and it will become here on the left side of the equation. So what will happen again by addition property of equality, we will be using 5y plus y is equal to 16 minus y plus y. Again, nag-add tayo ng y both sides of the equation para matanggal yung negative y. And simplifying this, this will give you 6y, kasi 5y plus 6 plus y is equal to 6y, and then this one is equal to 16. And simplifying this, it will give you divided by 6. So cancel natin to. This will become y is equal to 8 over 3. This is the value of y in example number 1. So I know that this one is quite long, but given the solution, I hope you understand how to solve item number 3. Now let's move on with item number 4. For item number 4, basically, um, you will look at it in difficult manner, but this one is not so difficult for me. So I hope that you can learn this practice or this method from me. So as you can see, you have 2 times x minus 4 is equal to 10 minus sorry 10 plus 5x so basically using the um, rules in order of operations you will start here basically you will use the circuit property of equality so this will become 2 times x this is 2x and then 2 times negative 4 this is minus 8 and then this one is equal to 10 plus 5x now, our target here is to solve for x, and first, we need to eliminate 8 from this side of the equation. So basically, if this is negative 8, we will add, again, if this is 8, we will add 8, both sides of the equation. So that's, this will become 2x minus 8 is equal, sorry, minus 8 plus 8 is equal to 10 plus 8 plus 5x and simplifying your equation this will give you only 2x because negative 8 plus 8 is equal to 0 and this one your 10 plus 8 is equal to 18 and then plus 5x now next step is for us to eliminate 5x here and we need to put it here on the left side of the equation and to eliminate this since this one is plus 5x, we need to subtract 5x, both sides of the equation. So this is the process. You have 2x minus 5x is equal to 18 plus 5x minus 5x. As you can see, 5x minus 5x is equal to 0. So what will happen here, it will give you negative 3x is equal to 18. Since this is your new equation, all you need to do is to eliminate negative 3. And to eliminate negative 3, guys, all you need to do is to divide the whole equation by negative 3. So divide it by negative 3, so we can cancel out this one, and it will give you x. And remember, in adding, or sorry, in dividing integers, if you have two different signs, the quotient is negative and that is negative 6. This is the correct answer for item number 4. Now, if you want to check whether your answer is correct, all you need to do is to do a checking. So let's do checking. All you need to do is to copy the given or the original equation. You have 
times x minus 4 is equal to 10 plus 5x. So the value of x here is equal to negative 6. And all you need to do is substitute the variable, the negative 6, to the variable x. So what will happen is that you have 2 times negative 6 for the variable x minus 4 is equal to 10 plus 5 times your negative 6. And you need to simplify this. This is 2. And negative 6 minus 4, this will give you negative 10. And this one is 10. 5 times negative 6, is, this is negative 30. And simplifying this, this will become negative 20. And we know that 10 minus 30 is equal to negative 20. The question here is that, are they equal? Yes, they are equal. So if they are equal, meaning the variable x here, which is negative 6, is the variable or the value of x in the given equation. That's how, how you're going to check whether your answer is correct. Now, if you have any question or suggested topic that you want me to discuss here in our channel, just comment down below para malaman natin ano yung mga kailangan yung topic na gusto nyo ipakita sa ating channel. So again, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at i-hit na yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating mga latest uploads. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!